Hi again, everyone. Chris Tisdale here. Thanks for tuning in. So in this video, I'm going to give you an example involving um, a question about odd and even functions. So this is designed to kind of give you a little bit more experience, a little bit more exposure to um, my previous video on uh, odd and even functions for beginners. So let's have a look at the question and we can work our way through it. So sketch the graph of this function, f of x equals x, and g of x equals absolute value of x, and determine if the product x times absolute x is odd or even. Now, there's a few ways of doing this, this problem, okay? But I think they want you to step it through this way and then work out um, whether this function's odd or even, this function's odd or even, and then see if the product is odd or even. Okay, so... Um, remember from the previous video, let me just find my my notes here, um, that, where is it? Odd and even functions have kind of some, some symmetry going on, right? So let me see if I can, yeah, here's an here's a even function, right? So you can see here that there's an algebraic way of looking at even functions, and then there's sort of a, a visual way where the graph is reflected in the y-axis. So the red graph is even, the green graph is even, but the blue graph is not even. Okay. And what about odd functions? Well, let me see if I can pull out my my notes here. Yep. Yep. So this is. Uh, odd function. So basically what you do is you rotate the graph 180 degrees around the origin and if you get the same graph then it is odd. Okay and again there's a little algebraic expression there. So in this case the red graph is odd, the green graph is odd but the blue graph is not odd. Okay um, and there are many many graphs that are neither odd nor even. Okay so back to the program, back to the example. Okay, so let's sketch these two graphs and then we can work out whether they are odd or even. So this is an easy one to sketch. It's going to look something like that. So is this an odd or an even function? Well, you can see, well, if I spin the graph here, this is the new sort of positive x-axis, this is the, the uh, y-axis, this is the new positive x-axis. Yep, the, the graph remains unchanged. So this one is odd. Now what about this? What about this one? Well, that looks like this function. So here, this is the line y equals negative x, and this is the line y equals positive x. So uh, I say g. All right. So if we spin this one, well, no, we don't get the same graph, right? We don't get the same graph. It's upside down now. But if we fold the page, if you like, or reflect it in the in the positive y-axis, then we get the same graph. So this one is even. All right, so we've done the first part of the question. Great. Second part, determine if the product is odd or even. So we did look at this in the previous, um, the previous video. And we looked at these things. The product of two even functions is an even function. Two odd functions is an odd function. Odd and even gives an odd function. And it's the same with quotients, right? Okay, now remember we're talking about um, functions here, not numbers, right? When we talk about odd and even functions, we're not talking about numbers. Okay, so the product then is an odd function with an even function. So if we go to this third dot product, the product of an odd and even function gives an odd function. Okay, so let's um, let's do this. So let's 
let's define h of x to be this. So it's so it's kind of our odd function times an even function. That gives you, according to, to the third dot point here, an odd function. Okay? Great. Now, you didn't have to do it that way. You could have used the algebraic um, uh, way of checking to see whether this is odd or even. You'd probably have to consider two cases. But what, what does this thing actually look like? Let's, let's break it up a bit and see um, what this kind of means. So this is not central to the question, but I'm going to do it anyway. So for x positive, or greater than or equal to 0, absolute x is just x. And for x negative, absolute x is negative x. So this is negative x squared. Okay. Now, we don't really need this bit to sketch the function. We don't have to sketch the function, but I'm going to do it anyway. We know the function is odd, and for this part of the x-axis, it's x squared. So what do we do with this x squared? We rotate it 180 degrees. Okay, so let me just go way down here. So this looks a bit like x squared. Right, and to get the other part of the graph, you could do that, or you could just go zoop, and that's going to be my my bit. So it'll be something like this. Okay, it looks like an x cubed graph, but it's not. Okay, so this is like h of x. All right, I've added a few extra bits in there. If you have any comments, any questions, I'd love to hear them. Um, I've done it sort of an algebraic, uh, sorry, a, a visual geometric way here. You can, of course, do it algebraic way. Um, you should choose a method that works for you. All right. Thanks, guys. All the best. Bye.